So you bought an Elgato HD 60S and you don't know how to set it up or how to get it to talk to your Mac, stick around. What's going on everyone, Seth Miranda here. If you don't know who I am, I am a pro photographer right here in New York City. You may have seen me on some other platforms like Adorama TV or maybe at some trade shows or other live streams out there. But this is my personal channel where I do a lot of demos and tutorials about lighting, shooting, techniques, live streaming, whatever I can offer to you guys, I try to share it. And you might also wanna think about checking out my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash last X witness I'm developing a pretty good photo community there if I do say so myself of people in the discord 24 7 answering each other's questions about technique and gear and all sorts of stuff but also sharing work and doing image critiques so if you're a photo nerd you might want to check me out there so what exactly is the HD 60s well pretty much it's an external video capture device as opposed to an onboard video capture card you'd find in like a PC tower so maybe I only have a laptop that I'm capturing video into I need to be able to tell it that the video feeds I'm trying to get in there our video feed that it should discover and receive. So what is this ideal for? Well, the cool thing about this is not just a video capture device, it's also a pass-through. So you can do an HDMI in from let's say a source like a console, PS4, Xbox, or a camera. Sometimes I even show uh, another laptop plugged into this as another video feed that I wanna use in my switching for my next video or streaming or what have you. Then I do an HDMI out of it. And this lets me take whatever video feed I'm putting into it out to a screen so I can actually see what I'm playing, but I can also plug in a USB-C to put the data out into a MacBook or any other laptop so that it sees the video feed and goes into OBS to record it or stream it. However, if you have a Mac, it's a little tricky for it to discover the HD60 as a device. So let me show you how to set that up. So over here on my LG monitor, before you even open up OBS, the first thing you have to do is get yourself OBS link. So let me show you what that is. This is the plugin you need for Macs to recognize the HD60S as a device, a video capturing device to be brought into the software as a feed. So what you're looking for is this right here is the logo for OBS Link. Once you download it, super easy. It'll be up here in your top menu over here and you'll be looking again for this logo. And once you see it, you can click on it and make sure it has Game Capture HD60S toggled as the device. If it doesn't, go to your preferences and look for it. It might not even show up for a second once you have it all plugged in. Sometimes it gets confused. Just hit check for updates or restart it and it should recognize it. It does get confused. There are like three things being plugged into it. There's all sorts of feeds plus your Mac trying to talk to it. So don't get discouraged if you don't see it right away. Just make sure that you either restart OBS link, try to check for an update, make sure that you even see it as an option and you can uh, select your output. I'm doing 1080p 30 because that's what I record this video at. You could do 60 frames per second, hence the name HD60S. So now that you have the OBS link on and enabled, you can go over to your OBS. And right here, I can show you really quickly. So you can see here, I have a feed coming in from the PlayStation, right? And it's also coming out to a screen at the same time and feeding it to OBS. And that's what the HD60S lets you do. But how do I get OBS to recognize it? Well, let's put OBS up on here. And you can see that in my sources, I have right here, the NDI source, and that is the HD60S once you have the OBS link enabled. Once the OBS link is running, that's what makes it discoverable. So how do I do this? Well, if I, first of all, I take this away, there it's gone, right? Now it's just a black screen. I don't hear the PlayStation. If I turn it back on, there it is. And I can even see that there is some audio here on the NDI source. If I turn it all the way down, you won't hear the PlayStation so much. If I crank it all the way back up, you should hear a little bit of it. It's not a loud game, it's just the, uh, the menu screen, so you're probably just a little faint. But let's delete this and start over, right? So let's go to delete. I'm gonna hit yes, and now it's gone. Now let's add it. I'm gonna go to add, I'm gonna go to NDI source. I'm not gonna go to video capture device. I'm not gonna go to display capture. I'm not gonna go to media source. Once you have the OBS link, uh, downloaded, installed, and enabled, and it sees your HD60S. When you see, when you click on it, and it says select capture device, you should have it selected. Click on NDI source. I'm gonna hit. You can title it whatever you want. Uh, I'm gonna title it um, NDI source, right? I'm gonna hit OK. And then over here, you're gonna see source name, right? 
So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look at it and you're gonna see that there's almost like no other selection other than the OBS link. See how it says Seth's MacBook Pro Home OBS link? That's what I wanna select. It's not gonna say HD60S. You're gonna look for the OBS link, okay? Hit all right, or okay rather. And now it's searching for it. I'm gonna put the NDI source below my video capture and now it's looking for it, right? And there it is. I'm gonna tap my controller so it comes up and we're looking at it. Not only that, but let's say I unplug the PlayStation and I put in a camera source. Here's a Z6 right here. I'm gonna take the HDMI cable and I am going to plug it right into this HD60S right here. And now it's gonna start searching for a signal. And I have a picture from the Z6 and there's my nice Jason mask and some hand sanitizer and some stickers, you know. Got to do some branding while we're at it, right? Some nice, nice branding going on there. But yeah, so you can actually take whatever video source you want out of it into this, and you can even control the audio. So if I put the mic on on this, you would probably hear me through this instead of my lab if I took it off. But you can still you do it as a complete feed. So there you go. You have uh, anything HDMI coming out of it, going into it, working, no problem. And it's a pretty good solution for more than one application. If you're doing something like gaming as well as trying to use a camera, you can do that. As long as the HDMI signal coming out of it into the HD60S, I even run a separate MacBook for another video feed out into it. And that's another source. So I have like my camera, my screen, and then whatever media or something I want to play out of that, or maybe a video call coming out of that MacBook, I can do that. The problem is, is that if you have a Mac, it's really a PC oriented piece of software OBS. So it needs that plugin from OBS Link to find the HD60S as a source. So if you've been having trouble with that, that might be the issue. And keep in mind, OBS is a free software and so is OBS Link and there's all sorts of moving parts going on here. So if you're having issues all over the place, try to restart OBS or your computer. And don't forget that the USB-C cable on the HD60S is its power source. Therefore, if you need to reset the HD60 to be discovered again by OBS Link, unplug it, give it a second, plug it back in or unplug all of it and plug it back in rather. You'll actually see lights coming up on the OBS HD60S right here. Uh, remember the white lights are good, the red lights are bad. And just as one last quick tip for you people out there with the PS4 that you're trying to get it to talk to the HD60S and it's not seeing it or there's no signal coming up, it's not the hardware. Let me explain to you that there's a setting in the PlayStation that you need to disable. Let's go over to the PlayStation feed right now and I'll show you. You have to go up to your settings and you're gonna go all the way down to your system. And you wanna make sure that HDCP is disabled. What HDCP is, it's an anti-pirating protocol. So it's basically not letting any feed come out of your PlayStation so they can go into something to be recorded. So let's say you're watching something like Netflix or Hulu, they wanna put this enabled so that you can actually open up those applications because they want you recording copyrighted material. If you're out there trying to just get a feed out of it, into something like OBS that does recording, it's going to stop the feed out from the HDMI into the HD60S. So this is probably your problem. Uh, get it connected to a monitor, disable this setting, HDCP, and you should be good to go. I really hope this was helpful. It is a little bit more of a pricey device for an external video capture, but it seems to be doing pretty well. I enjoy it a lot for my PlayStation, as well as it's a good stopgap. I only have like one cam link or something else working on a camera and I'm out of other devices as a video capture device. The HD60S totally pulls in what I need uh, video wise and gets it into OBS so that I can stream, record and create all these videos for you guys and demos and whatever else. So I hope this was helpful for you guys. Uh, do me a favor, hit like, write me down with a comment down below if this was not clear at all, but I think it was pretty coherent if you know about OBS a little bit. If you don't check my other videos, like how to make your camera into a webcam, that goes over OBS a little bit more. And if you wanna learn about this setup and how I did a different lighting scheme and things like that than some other people you've seen out there, I have a video on that as well. For now guys, be good to each other, hit subscribe and the bell so you're notified when more videos like this come out and I will see you next time.